Hi, my name is Kara Brown. I am an urban fantasy author for Eight Little Pages Publishing. I'm also a writer for Otherworld Inc. Comics. I am here to talk about writerly things, and sometimes I rant about things on Wednesday. Uh, particularly the thing I want to rant about at this moment has to do with my editing software for my videos, which is not working. Um, it's just constantly uh, having errors and bugs and force shutting down. I put in a ticket, but that doesn't change the fact that I still have to make a video today. So we are going to do it all in one shot. You get to see me being imperfectly perfect and we can go ahead and <laughs> just figure this out. So the one thing I wanted to talk about today actually pertains to next month and that is Camp NaNoWriMo. Now there's mixed feelings when it comes to Camp NaNoWriMo which has to do with where a bunch of people get together and they write 50,000 words in a month. You've got one school of thought where it's like well writers always write more than that per month you know every month is NaNoWriMo. I get it. I'm an author too. Um, but the other school of thought that I usually really enjoy that has to involve Camp NaNoWriMo is just kind of like the energy and a bunch of people coming and being creative and introverts being introverts next to each other. It's beautiful. Uh, I usually take part just because I enjoy the atmosphere overall and it gets me out of the house because, you know, I don't get out of my house very often. Uh, but my issue with NaNoWriMo or any Ramo for that matter isn't so much about the program itself, it has more to do with the advice I hear given to people who take part. And um, there's some really bad advice out there. I want to go ahead and just leap into this. So we'll start with the first thing that usually ticks me off that I hear people mention, and that has to do with diet. I have seen so many videos on YouTube where they're like, don't forget your snacks, and they hold up a giant freaking bag of Skittles or Starburst or whatever, and then they're like, and make sure you drink your caffeine, and it's like got some extra syrup, whatever, latte. Um, that's horrible <laughs> for your brain and for your body, mostly because you're fooling your body into having energy that it doesn't have. And I promise you within time, you're going to have to pay the piper. You're going to suffer a crash and you're going to feel horrible. Make sure that you're, when you're doing this, you have to take care of your brain and your body. I would recommend that you do the same thing that professional chess players do for competitions, which has to do with eating cereal bars and, you know, uh, walnuts, dried fruit, whatever. And also making sure that you're hydrating because you are mostly composed of water. So if you're not hydrated, you're going to feel icky really fast. Stay away from the artificial sugars, please. Um, and if you have to have some kind of caffeine, I would say lean with tea, or if you have to have coffee, just be careful about when you're drinking coffee. I don't drink coffee after 2 p.m. because it screws up my sleep cycle, and if you want to feel a really crabby me, definitely when my sleep cycle is not on track, you're going to see that real fast. Um, the next thing I do want to talk about has to do with planning. So, all the nanos are really good for pantsers, um, just because they can sit in front of a keyboard with a blank page and that story just, just comes out. I salute you guys. I don't know how you do it. I got to outline my stuff. But having said that, yeah, I'm not the only one that does. And you don't have to do the thing that I usually see, which is over planning. Uh, there's a thing that comes with the actual NaNoWriMo in November where they have like this Preptober thing and they spend all October just prepping for their book and doing like these binders at like these workshops where they do aesthetics and all these other things. There is a thing that's called over planning and it, how you decide to outline is really up to you. One of the things that you should really definitely cover is what is your hero's problem? how can we stopping them from fixing their problem and then how can you make it harder to, to for that to happen because that creates conflict and as readers we like conflict and we definitely want to see the person overcoming a lot of obstacles in order to resolve their issue uh, the other tip that I can give you for when you're going into National Writing Month or whatever is you can have a sticky note and for the scene that you're going to write during that session just jot down three things that are going to happen and when you do that, you kind of already get your brain set for what it is that you're going to write. You kind of have like a light timeline of what's going to happen. And then you can also tick it off if you're one of those people that likes checklists. And you can tick it off as you go. Um, that usually helps me out a lot, especially when I'm in a rut. The other thing that I want to talk about is when people are sitting there and they say, well, if you didn't finish it today, you can make it up on the weekend, you can do it tomorrow, blah, 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 blah. When you're in Camp NaNoWriMo, I don't recommend going in there with a plan B like that. Just because what's going to happen is those words are going to add up and you're going to have to, you know, do more and more and more. And then if you don't have very good time management skills, it just gets worse. What I would recommend that you do is do have a plan. Figure out when you're going to write where you're going to write, and how long are you going to write. 
Um, and as long as you have that plan, you should be good to go. Your plan can also include the days that you don't write. You know, you don't have to write every day. If you do write every day, I think the I think all you have to do is write like 1,667 words. And I say only because most professional writers will typically write more than that per day. Um, my word count averages anywhere between two and 6,000 words, depending on my motivation, which kind of leads me back into the other thing I want to talk about, which is if you're writing a scene and you're not really excited about it, do you think your reader's going to be excited about it? Try to go into your writing sessions being excited or kind of thrilled about what you're going to write, because I promise you those words are going to come out fast if you like what you're writing. Uh, let's see, what's the other thing? Um, yes, okay, so the last thing I want to talk about when it comes to bad advice is, is when people tell you where to submit your manuscript. Um, have you even edited your stuff yet? If the answer is no, I wouldn't even think about submission or querying or any of that. Just because, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about it on Friday where I talk about why books are rejected by publishers and agents, but sometimes people are just looking for reasons to turn down your book for, and if you give them that reason because your writing is unclear, you've got plot holes, you've got typos up the wazoo, um, you're just giving them that excuse for that to happen. Now, not every publisher does that, but again, it comes down to don't give them a reason why. So those are the five things of advice that I usually do not like when it comes to people talking about whatever writing month that we're in. Uh, I'd like to go ahead and I'm going to sign off here just in a little bit. Um, one of the things I do want to mention, or actually I want to ask you guys, because I talked about the writing advice that I don't like, <laughs> um, my resolves around it. But as you, my wonderful viewer, I'm kind of curious about what advice that you would give new people that are coming to take part in National Writing Month for the first time, or maybe provide a strategy that worked for you. Again, uh, what works for me doesn't work for everybody else, but just because as individuals we're all different. So I'm definitely curious to hear about you know the kind of different aspects that made writing for that particular month very beneficial for you. Um, Let's see what else. Oh, yes, I do want to talk about uh, a couple other things real quick. One, at Eight Little Pages, we do have another author whose books are being republished this week. Her name is Tiffany. I am going to actually link those down below. She's got uh, books about mermaids and some other cool stuff that is involved with that, and I would love to share that with you. And if you could show your support with her, that would be really awesome. Uh, the other thing I do want to mention is if you're not sure if I know what I'm talking about when it comes to this writer nonsense, you can sign up for my newsletter down below and you can get a free copy of a short story and you can kind of gauge that to see how it is. The other really cool thing when you sign up for the newsletters, you get automatically entered into this month and every other month that comes after that a giveaway. I typically hand out things that are preferred or that go with writers you know, like little books or swag or other, other things. And if you follow me on Twitter, I usually talk about what is coming out for that particular month. Uh, what else? Um, the last thing I do want to mention before I sign off is that we are now within a month of my book coming out. It's coming out on the 26th, which means between now and then I'm going to be very busy. I'm going to be busy doing a lot of things for you guys because I do want to be a giver. I do want to help you guys out more and I do want to uh, kind of engage with you a little bit more. One of the things I'm doing, especially on Instagram right now, is I'm doing like a little Instagram post challenge. I really like post challenge, so I thought I would just do my own for my own month. And I was I was gonna have like a little image of it right here, but I'm just gonna have to link it down below because editing software. Thanks, Fillmore. Um, so that's all I really have for you right now. Uh, I would really appreciate if you would uh, engage in the question that I have where it talks about the advice to give to new people that are participating. And I'm going to talk to you guys hopefully on Friday with software that works.